In this video, we're going to learn about the HTTP delete method. First of all, the purpose of the HTTP delete method is to delete existing resources on the server. Now, if we look at the simple routing method, right, the routing mechanism that we used in the previous HTTP verbs, we're combining the verb itself, which is also called the method itself, along with the location, which is the URL. We combine them together. The simple routing doesn't work in this case because we don't know exactly which employee we want to delete, unless you want to delete everything. Usually this is not a requirement. We don't want to delete everything. Right? If we want to delete everything, we go to the database, we delete from there as a manual process. From the application point of view, we want to specify which employee to delete. That's why we learned the query string in the previous video. So here, instead of just use the URL like this, we can add a query string. We can say we want to delete employee number three. All right, so let's jump into Video Studio and let's use this type of routing to locate our endpoint handling logic. Let's go back, scroll up to here, and we can copy this and this, paste it over here, complete curly braces it's back to its position. Now, the method we're looking for is delete, right? So if it's HTTP delete, and if we are targeting this employee's location here, then what we can do is we can look for the query string. So if contacts.request.query, and we have this contains keys method, right? So if contains the ID as the key, then we can continue. Otherwise, we, we're not going to delete anything. We're not going to do anything. So if it contains the ID, then first of all, we want to get the ID. So we're going to say var ID equals context.request.query. So we can get this ID. And this is going to be a string value. Now we need to parse this string value to an integer. So we're going to say int, we can use try parse, and we're going to parse the ID, and we're going to let it come out into an integer variable. And we're going to declare that as employee ID, or you can call it anything else. And this has to be wrapped up with a if statement like this. And over here, we can use the employee ID. So we're going to say employee repository, and we're going to delete employee, and we're going to provide the employee ID right here. Although we don't have the method yet, we're going to create it later. This is going to return a result just like update. So we're going to have result like this, and then we can test the result. So if the result is successful, then we can scroll up over here and we can copy this and paste it over here. So if it's successful, then we can say employee is deleted successfully. Otherwise, we can say something else. We can say employee is not found. Again, we're going to handle the different status code later, right? Then we can scroll down and copy this, okay? Scroll down to the repository class over here and we're going to implement the static method for this it's going to be a boolean and a returning boolean and the parameter here is going to be an integer we pass in the id just like this and we're going to get the employee first so employee employees dot first or default we can say x goes to x dot id equals id and if employee is not now this is when we can remove it from the collection. So employees dot remove, and uh, we can just re remove the employee object like this. And over here, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. And this implements our endpoint handling logic right here. And let's give it a try. So run the application. All right, application is running. Let's bring this over here and let's hit the get endpoint first and we have this three different employees in our data store by default and let's go to postman over here 
we need to add another one and we're going to add another request and this is going to be called delete employee and we're going to change this to delete and we are going to hit this same endpoint i mean the same url all right now we're going to pass in the id from the query string over here let's say we're going to delete the middle one which is id number two and you can see that postman is able to parse this into a parameter list right here on the screen so you can add it here or you can add it here you can even disable this like this and add it back just like that and let's save it first and try to send it to the application all right it says employee is deleted successful let's try another one let's try to delete number 20 which doesn't exist and then we send that we get employee not found so you can see that the endpoint handling logic is working perfectly and let's try to run this get endpoint page again refresh that and you can see that the second one is deleted second one is deleted go to this get over here you can see that this is from the previous testing the second one is jane smith and if i send it again you can see jane smith is gone right we only have one and two this used to be the third one now it becomes the second one so you can see that the deletion works and what we really learned from this video is that we have this delete method it is used for deleting purpose right deleting resources on the server and we learn to use query string to actually identify the particular resource to be deleted and that's everything i want to cover in this video if you have any questions please let me know if not i will see you in the next one